I'm Lee Ellis and this is my studio in Brighton. My work is known for being very vibrant and colourful and I'm trying to push that even further now. I get to come into a studio every day, shut the door. I'm really drawn to old books, magazines, old photographs that are found in markets, old films. I just really enjoy taking found imagery and breathing this kind of like strange life into it, turning it into something quite magical. If it's a horse, for example, it doesn't really matter to me if the head starts to get so distorted or the legs kind of go in a way that a horse's leg would never move. It becomes more about manipulating the composition to be balanced for me this really lovely sweet spot that's between the figurative and abstract. Creating art in general is very therapeutic, very beneficial for me. You know, so much of the painting is about this kind of sensory feedback, like every single stage of the process, like even just doing this, for me is like so satisfying. Probably shouldn't be sniffing it. I had a private assessment last year and discovered that not only am I ADHD, I'm also dyslexic, which was a surprise. There's a lot going on up here and they're just kind of trying to symbolise this whole like neurodivergent experience of just how my mind personally flits from one thing to the other and find a, like a really pleasing balance between everything in the one piece. So you've got all these colours that sometimes like you wouldn't think they would go together very, you know, they're very clashing and they're vibrating next to each other. The postcard is called Wherever I Go, There I Am, taken from vintage Western cowboy comics. There was always like a hat flying through the air and there's always like, a, you know, these action shots of punches and like, you know, and I love all that. It's like a playful look at how I'm my own worst enemy. For me, it's becoming this quite interesting form of therapy actually to have an open dialogue with the painting. It's leaving the mistakes in, it's leaving the marks in, it's leaving the brush strokes in, it's allowing the story to build up, it's allowing you know my character to to sit on every level of this painting and to be comfortable with all the textures you know and all the colours and all the drips and the freckles and the birthmarks and the scars Now I feel like after all these years of trying different things, I've been given this like golden thread I've been searching in the dark for. It's the start of a journey and I can feel myself like opening up more in the paintings. 